changed for me. I went from being somebody who was powerless to one of the most powerful people in the entire city. Instead of using that power for good, I was selfish with it. My Uncle Ben always told me that with great power comes great responsibility. Now I've dedicated my life to protecting the defenseless and stopping those who would do them harm. I am the Amazing Spider-Man. for me. Relax, ma'am. I'm a good guy. I took the liberty of teaching those thugs some manners for you. Thanks. Well, I hate to ask you after all you just did for me, but my leg got hurt during the attack. Could you help me down to the street? But of course. Transportation is just one of the many services that I provide. Trip to the street, courtesy of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. That was amazing. Is that how you travel all the time? Only when my subway pass runs out. Now what? My boyfriend's gang, the Deadbeats, got hired to rob some banks later today by these guys called the Free Radicals. Robbery's one thing, but those radical guys are scary. They want to hurt a lot of people, and I have family in the city. I was going to the police, but those jerks caught me. The police will protect you, but a word of advice. If you haven't already, find a better boyfriend. Thugs don't suit you. Have you tried science, nerds?
tried to find my boyfriend to talk some sense into him, but his gang's gone nuts. They let the bank on fire. Don't they know that money tastes terrible barbecued? I'll handle this. And remember, try meeting a science nerd. supposed to laugh at that one? I just popped in to introduce myself. The name's Spider-Man, creep, and you'll be thinking about me a lot from inside of a jail cell. You're gonna be sorry you messed with us, Spider-Freak. Robbing this bank may be all about business, but we're gonna take you out for free. For free, you say? And here I was all worried because I left my spider wallet in the other costume. Let's squash this bug and get the loot! this costume later. Being a hero is dirty business.
once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, a photography class taught by a Pulitzer Prize winner. I submitted my portfolio today. Oh, I hope I get in. Good luck. I hear they're only letting in 10 people across the whole state. Still, I think my photography could get in. Maybe I'll submit a few photos, if I feel like it. There is still 24 hours left before the deadline. Wow, a photo class taught by a Pulitzer Prize winner. I don't think any of Peter Parker's portraits of Aunt May are good enough to get me in. But maybe some sweet shots of Spider-Man can score me a spot in that class. Yeah. <sighs> We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. A fire has broken out at the Osborne Data Center, threatening one of the largest collections of scientific research in the entire world. The fire appears to have been started by an anarchist group known as the Free Radicals, who have given no motive for their actions. We will continue to provide you with details as they unfold. you guys know there are easier ways to get a ride in this city? It's free radicals, punk. 
and you can't stop our message. Let me guess. You guys want to tell me that I can save money on car insurance. The free radicals can't be stopped by the law or a freak in a spider costume. And soon, 